gosh, this is so poorly made. Gross. Guten Morgen, everyone! Woo! It has been a while. I know. When I started this channel, I had so much time because it was still, like, basically quarantine time and there wasn't a lot of possibilities to do uh, much of anything else. So I was like, okay, now's the time. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I really went for it and I was posting two videos a week pretty regularly. But then when things started sort of uh, relaxing and opening up again, I wanted to concentrate more on getting more content onto my other channel, which is why I started kind of neglecting this place. It's not you, it's me. But I'm back today with just a like a one-off video of something that I really wanted to share with you. Something that I think is gonna be really fun and funny. And that is, I ordered a wig. Now, you've seen me wearing a wig before on the very unofficial travel guides as the cone lady and also as Stacy Schuyler Tessa. Are they maybe the same person? They've never been seen in the same room at the same time. And I think I also wore it when I played the duty-free lady. But that was just like a cheap wig that I bought in a, you know, like a novelty costume store. And this is something else. Somehow the ad spies on Facebook thought that it would be good to start suggesting fake hair ads to me on my Facebook account. I don't know why, I mean, I have like 40 hairs here still. And over a period of time, I was getting so many ads for men's wigs. And some of these, I don't know, they just looked really appealing. Not that I'm like seriously considering that as like a daily thing, but I know that a lot of people, men and women and diverse, wear wigs on a daily basis. It's not really that uncommon to tell you the truth. And I'm not talking about like people who perform or people who are, uh, you know, like drag queens. I'm, like I'm talking about people who wear wigs in their just normal everyday life and it's part of their look. And these ads that I was getting were for those kind of wigs. And I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna try one. And this is the ad that I ended up clicking on because I had seen it so many times. And this, there's this guy or it's a couple guys trying on these wigs and they, you know, they look amazing. And so finally I clicked on it and I was taken to this website from uh, Siam. So it's S-I-Y-A-A-M.com. And here's an interesting fact as I was researching and, you know, like gathering the information to make this video today, I tried to find the ad again and I couldn't find the exact same ad, but I found, no. what I mean is I found what I thought was the exact same ad and I clicked on it again, but it took me to a totally different website with a different web address, but the same products. So it's all kind of shifty and I'm glad that I ended up paying with PayPal. So anyways, this was the wig that I thought would be cool to try out and this is how it looked on the website and I ordered the one with like the extra extra hair, I think it said 140% extra hair like seen in the video. And instead of ordering it in like blonde or blue or whatever, I decided to order it and I think the color was called light brown. I, I don't have the information in front of me right now, I'm not gonna go look it up, but I think it was called light brown because I figured, you know, Okay, there's gray here, but the rest of my hair, I would consider that to be light brown, right? So I ordered it, and I think the whole thing cost less than 50 euros, which I thought, okay, if it really looks like it does in the video, getting that for 50 euros is an amazing price. I ordered it, like I said, paid with PayPal, and about three weeks later, this shows up, and it actually, to add to the, the shiftiness of it, it's obviously come from China. China, 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 China. But the sending ad is from someplace in Germany. It's just weird. So it was like, it was sent from China. China, China now, China. To someplace in Germany. And then someplace in Germany sent it to me, but parts of the label here on this printout are in Chinese and there is a Chinese stamp up here in the corner. China. So anyways, when I got it, you can see I've already opened it because I just couldn't wait to try it out. So remember, this is the wig that I ordered in light brown and this is what it looks like when it comes. Da da. <laughs> Can you guys see this? 
it looks like a dead rat in here, but wait until I put it on. So it says that it is a lace front wig, and I have a little bit of experience with wigs from my theater career. And so it comes like this, and there is a hairnet on it to, I don't know, kind of keep it in place. So let's take the hairnet off. There's a little bit of uh, tissue paper inside. And here's the deal. There is lace in the front of this wig, but this is not like a true lace front wig. And I'll show you what I mean. So I've turned it inside out here and you can see at the back and a lot of wigs, even like really high quality expensive wigs are built like this, that in the back of the hair where it sort of just falls down, there's like these, these lines, I think they call them tracks because that's, you know, not like where people focus on, like when they're talking to you or whatever, it's at the back of your head and the hair falls down and it all sort of covers itself. But at the front, a true like higher quality lace front wig will have this material, this is the lace, but then it will continue like about six inches towards the back and there will be hairs that are like hand crocheted onto this material because then it's really thick and it looks way more natural and then you know, it's like seamless. And then when you when you put it on and fit it, then you cut this um, this part to, you know, like as far back as you can to make it look as realistic and as natural as possible. So I just did a Google search for lace front wigs and I came to this site, which is another wig site called jessieselection.com. And here you can see this is what a real lace front wig should be like because the lace is the actual front of the wig and you can trim it back and sort of style the hairline like you want. And then you can use the lace to like literally glue it to your forehead. And the wig that I have here is nothing like this. But you can see this is just a piece of a lace that has been sewn to the front of this whole like ma machine made part here anyways. This is thicker than at the back, but this is not a real lace front wig. Gosh, this is so poorly made. Gross. Anyways, let's try it on. The moment of truth. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I got to show you some more about the inside of this because there are some cool things about it. It, it has these adjustable, um, like, hooks in the back to make it bigger or smaller. And I, you know, I'm short, but I have a big head. So even with this open, it's tight on me. And that's actually the only, there are no clips in here. There's no, yeah, there are no extra ways to uh, extend the size of it. It's just these things. So you can either have them open or closed, basically. Oh well, let's try it on. Remember, this is the, the wig that I ordered, and this is what it looks like. Ooh. Nailed it. I mean, really? Okay, so the fake lace front you can see here is um, you know, I, I would have to trim this back, and I mean, I will do it eventually. Uh, so just try to like ignore this at the moment, and let's just look at the hair. I mean, no. <laughs> Actually, you know, from this side, let's see, can I kind of like style it a little bit with the fingers and make it from any angle look okay. From this side, it kinda looks okay, but this whole thing here is just like, no. You know what I mean? Can I, can I somehow part this? <laughs> like, this, first of all, this doesn't look anything like the wig in the video and I'm not saying just the color. Of course the color is different and of course it looks different on my face because my face is a different shape and I have gray in my beard and I'm gray over here so I'm not talking about that. I'm just talking about the, the fall of the hair and the shape of the wig on its own. I mean the wig in 
the video, it has short hair on the sides and look at how long this is. Or wait, is there short hair here? You know what, I need, I'm gonna go to a mirror and s style it a little bit and see if I can, see how good I can make it look, okay? Be right back. And we're back and uh, yeah. It's not getting any better, is it? What I did was I combed it all down to get it sort of like even and then I combed and finger styled it to look like this. And also I used an old theater trick uh, and put some powder in it to sort of lighten it up a little bit and also got powder all over my shirt, by the way. But yeah, I mean, this, the only part I really sort of like is I kind of like how it falls over here on this side. That's sort of kind of a dramatic goth look, you know, and like if we kind of cover this up, that could almost work. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, the thing is, it didn't even cost like $50 and I, you know, I shouldn't really have such high expectations if it wasn't for the way it looks in the ad. And that's why it's so misleading that the way it looks in the ad, like if that person was, you know, standing someplace close to you and you were just sort of looking around, that would not catch your eye. You wouldn't, you wouldn't stop and be like, but with this thing, you know what I mean? Like, no matter what I do to it, with this thing, people on the other side of the street will be able to see that this is a wig. As I was combing it, chunks of it were falling out. Nice. So that's why it's disappointing, I think. And I tried to, I thought about what are some other things we can do to see if, you know, like, I mean, look at it from this angle. I don't know, maybe if we cut it, you know, should I like try to like trim it a little bit? One thing I did is I brought some hats. So let's try on some hats, shall we? What if we just put a baseball hat on? Does that look more realistic? No, no. What about this hat? I don't think I'll even be able to get it. Well. Kind of, in sort of like a skater goth way. This might work. What about the other way around? I wonder what it would look like without my beard, you know, being a totally different color. But I mean, nobody's hair is like this uniform in color. No, you know, like Caucasian European person. Very few of them have hair that's like this uniform in color. You know what I mean? All right, and then what about this? This is a true test. Oh. Hey, well that kind of works. That doesn't look too bad, does it? I mean, I'm not gonna wear this, not, you know, to fool people into thinking this is my real hair, but if you're looking for an inexpensive solution for some reason, to put on a, a wig and then, that doesn't look too bad, does it? What do you think? If it wasn't for the mismatch color, this would actually look pretty okay. What does it look like at the top? I'll show you guys a close up. So if you look like this area, it just does not look real. You know, you can't see, there should be, you know, like some view of the hair, or I mean the scalp in there, but it's all painted black. If there was real lace in there, then you would see that brown color of the lace and that sort of, you know, fools the eye into thinking that that could be the scalp. So that was fun. I don't know what else to do with it, you know? Maybe I will try to, um, to trim it up a little bit, but I'd have to get, a, you know, a wig head. I'm not gonna trim it on my own hair and I and you know like I said this actually kind of works for me the only thing that's really disturbing about it is the color I guess but still you know as far as the way it fits on my head you know if I was really like thinking about going out in public with this as part of my style I wouldn't feel confident thinking that people aren't going to notice that this isn't my real hair and that it's not really a you know, a well-made solution. You know what I mean? But it is a solution, but I wouldn't 
even think about trying to pull it off without wearing something like this or a headband or something. I don't know. I hope to have the time to spend more time on Guten Morgen again soon, but it's actually a good thing that I don't because that means that I'm getting out and about and uh, having some fun adventures and getting them on the very unofficial travel guide. So thank you so much to everybody who's keeping up with me over there. There's a lot of Disneyland stuff coming soon, but other fun surprises, stay posted, will be coming there soon as well, and they will be more fun surprises than the way this wig looked when I took it out of the bag. See you soon!